There are different businesses one can start with little capital. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of them, which is tote bag business. Tote bag business is a business that you can start with little capital, uh, with little experience, um, and you can start it from anywhere. Anyone can do this business. I'm going to be giving you full detail about this business. So let's begin. We are going to start with the measurements. But before I go further, I want to let you know that there are different types of these bags. Um, and you need to be careful not to mix them together. There is difference between shopping bag and tote bag. Although the way they sew them looks alike, but the only difference is in the, in the size. Shopping bag is more bigger than tote bags. I've seen a lot of people making shopping bag and calling it tote bag. If a tote bag become too big, then it becomes a shopping bag. It is no more a tote bag. So when you are making a tote bag, you need to know the measurement. It doesn't have to be too big. 38 by 42 centimeter is fine for a tote bag. But when you are making something like 60 by 70 or by 75, that becomes too big and it becomes a shopping bag. A tote bag is a bag that you can carry to 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 maybe like office. You can carry comfortably to um, beach, you know, something that you can just put little things inside like your charger, your purse and so. So it doesn't have to be too big. But shopping bag is something that you carry to mall, to market. You know, you have to put a lot of things inside. So it has to be big. So most of the time, shopping bag is usually bigger than tote bag. So when you are going into this business, you need to put this into consideration. And you can see the measurements that we have on the screen. Uh, just um, You can just pause it and just screenshot, uh, or screenshot the measurements. Okay. So let's just begin uh, with this one, this design on the screen. There are different methods of making tote bags. Okay. You can see that this one is not straight. It has um, a sitter at the back, at, at the bottom. This is also a tote bag. It can also be made a shopping bag. Okay. So uh, tote bag doesn't have to be that straight one that does not have corners. So this is also a tote bag. But you need to be very careful when you are making this type of tote bag so that it will not be too big. The length can be 45 in length and uh, the width 30, maybe like 30 or 28, while the side can just be 4 um, cm and the handle is fine, um, 25 cm is very okay. So you can see this one also, you can see that this one is not really sitting well, but it also has some um, sitter if you put something inside, it's not that straight, you can see the corner. Alright, so let's talk about different fabrics that you can use um, for tote bag to make tote bags or shopping bag. Okay. There are different fabrics that you can use, although I have favorite, <laughs> but um, depending on you or, or the kind of uh, design that you want to make on your tote bag. So, your choice of fabric also determine um, the type of customization. Do you get that? Okay. There are different types. So I'm going to be listing them. Then we are going to be looking at the design after talking about uh, the material. You can use uh, Canva. Okay. There's a material they call Canva. Okay. So Canva in Yoruba, they call it Teru. It's just that normal plain um, uh, cutting uh, fabric that uh, at... Um, that is usually used for painting okay so that is it on the screen that is it that is canva on the screen uh, i think uh it's been a while i bought it so i can't really give you the precise amount now but it is not that expensive uh maybe because things are expensive now maybe it should be around that one th it can't even be up to one thousand per yard uh maybe 700 or 800 naira per yard 
so but i'm not precise i don't really know the amount at the moment um for for the fabric so you can get it from people that sells uh material in the market okay so you can also use dennis to make this you can use dennis that is jean you can use dennis okay uh you can also use um velvet yeah i know velvet is something is somehow draw yeah it's it's uh it's stretchy a little bit but it's also very nice for tote bag okay so you can also use um chinos yes chinos fabric is also very nice for making a um, tote bag also 100 percent cotton fabric is also good uh what's thing about choosing tote bag fabric is just the stability you have to look at the stability and also as i've said before look at the type of design that you are making all right so let's just talk uh, about the design and also uh the choice of fabric okay so i've not mentioned this this one is not um cutting this one is just like um raffle yes like a uh, raffle fabric <laughs> that is how it is the fabric no it's not it's i think they call it ra raffle <laughs> all right so now uh, let's talk about the paint as i've said i mean the the customization um well if you want to and paint you know you can and paint you can add paint your your tote bag you can use vinyl which is very common you can put and you can use screen printing method e transfer there are different methods of customization so if you want to and paint like you know there's a way you can paint like this um this design now was unpainted yes you can unpaint with some acrylic um, paints yes you can paint your tote bag so if you are painting your tote bag um the best fabric to use is canva that is the best fabric to use you use canvas um, um fabric that is the best fabric to use because it soaks the ink inside and you can it, that is even why um the the artists they usually use the fab uh, the canvas you know because it soaks their ink inside and it stills well uh, so if you are looking at maybe you are artist you know how to paint and you want to paint your uh you want to start painting your tote bag then you can choose canva i noticed i kept on saying canva the fabric is canvas fabric please pardon me <laughs> so let's continue the video <laughs> choosing like velvet it will not work for that kind of thing so you have to look at what you, are, um, you want to do but let's say you want to use um, vinyl Vinyl can go on any fabric. Hmm? Vinyl can stay on velvet. Vinyl can stay on any fabric. Okay. So I will also say if you are using screen printing, I will still say you should not choose velvet. <laughs> yes, you can choose chinos. You can choose canvas. You can choose hundred percent cotton. You can choose denim. Okay. So and also you have to consider, you have to consider your color color yeah you have to consider color so that in case maybe you are making black and tote bag and uh, you have to be careful with the choice of color that you choose because so that it's going to show well on it gold is fine gold is very perfect on on uh, black in fact a lot of time when they make black um tote bag you always see that touch of gold because it will pop it out okay you don't want to use something like um uh, navy blue you know navy blue is somehow dark dark blue you know all those dark dark color use something bright pink will also be nice orange will be fine on black you know all those bright colors will be fine also when you are choosing white well you can use black design you can use um you can use black design you know any design will go on white anyways because it will just pop it out also let's just talk about uh, different things that you can write 
on your tote bag well it depends you can write name you can see the way this one is d then you write the name maybe it's damilola uh, maybe this one that is uh, i think uh, martins or maria okay you can just put m um, at the top then put the maria then put uh, the flower design you can see this one also this one was painted okay you can see the flower it's a painted one and also you know there are some flower cutting fabrics it's, if you see that kind of um, fabric is very nice for tote bag you can see this one this one is also name um you can see the way the end is you know you have to put your creativity in making your tote bag and you're going to make money surely from it i have a lot of colleagues that are Think, um that brings tote back to work and i've asked most of them how much how much do you get this some of them say four thousand some of them say three five some of them even say five thousand depending on the design so it's something that you will definitely make money from um and at most if you are spending like one five or so or two thousand era on making one and your gain is about one thousand five hundred or two thousand in some other cases that is a good business, right? If you like <laughs> any of these designs, you can just screenshot them. And it may just be like an inspiration for you, you know, to also create your own designs. Uh, this, um, I mean, <laughs> those bag business is a business that is very lucrative. And um, if you begin this early, you know, this is January, begin early, you know, before December, you will see what is going to turn out to be. Um, it's a very lucrative one that you need little capital to start with so um, subsequently we are going to be looking at tote bag we're going to be sewing different types of tote bag so be ready for it we're going to be designing it um, we are going to be doing some painting also doing you know there are a lot of things to do <laughs> okay so thank you for watching I will see you in my next one so don't forget to like the video. <laughs> Bye.